In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to record your computer screen for free and with the highest quality. Let's see how it's done. The first thing we will do is download the program to be able to record the screen of our computer, and it's totally free. In Google, we look for the program called OBS Studio. We have to open webobsproject.com, double check the web address because many times other websites with advertising may appear in the first results. We open the obsproject.com page. As soon as we enter the web, we'll be able to see there are three different versions depending on the operating system. The Windows version, Mac OS, and Linux. You have to download the operating system version of your computer. In my case, I will download the Windows version. We click on the version we want, then the installation file of the program will be downloaded. We can see that it has already finished downloading the file. Perfect. Now we must open the installation file. The installation of the program is very simple. Just click on the next button, choose the location on your computer where you want to install the program and click install. When the installation is complete, click finish. The first time we open the program, this window will appear. We choose the option, optimize just for recording. I will not be streaming. And we click on next. We can skip this step since I will show you how to configure the most important options manually. So you can record your computer screen correctly and get the best image quality. All right, so we skip this step by clicking next and then select apply settings. This is the interface of the OBS Studio program. I'm going to put it in full screen so you can see it better. Now we will configure the most important parameters to be able to record the screen of our computer correctly. If we skip this step, we may record at the wrong frame rate, record the screen at a lower resolution, or experience other issues. First of all, we have to go to the tab File, and here we select the option Settings, click. Great, we can now see the Settings menu. The first section that we're going to modify is the Output section. We select Output. Within this menu, we must go to Recording Setting, Recording Path. Here we have to choose the folder on our computer where we want the videos that we're going to record to be saved. We can leave the folder that comes by default or choose another. I'm going to change the recording path to this hard disk, and I'm going to save the videos in a folder that I have created called OBS Recording. I want all the videos to be saved here. I select this folder. In the Recording Quality option, I recommend selecting high quality, medium file size, or indistinguishable quality, large file size. These are the two best options. Selecting one or the other depends on whether you prefer the video to have more quality or the file to take up less space. Perfect. Another very important parameter is the encoder. I have it set to hardware NVENC H264. You can choose that the graphics card of the computer is in charge of encoding the video by selecting the hardware option. Using NVENC H.264 is a good option. H.264 is the most widely used codec currently. It's the most compatible. Or we can also select that the OBS program encodes the video, choosing the software option. But it's advisable to do it through the graphics card. Great. We're done configuring the output parameters. If you plan to use the audio that you record when you capture the screen, you can increase the sample rate for a little more quality. If you're not going to use the audio that you record, you can leave it as it is. Finally, we will change some options in the video section. This part is very important. We click. We can see that it appears to us with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 with an aspect ratio of 16.9. If you use a monitor with a resolution of 1920 by 1080, in the case of having windows configured to a resolution of 1080, it's fine. But if you use another resolution, you must change it. For example, I use a 4K monitor and the program is set to 1080. It's not right. I want to have the maximum possible resolution. I must change the resolution in my case, I'm using a 4K monitor. I must select 3840 by 2160. 
In scaled output resolution, I also put 3840 by 2160. Finally, we must choose how many frames per second we want to record the computer screen. This depends a lot on the type of content you record. You can record the screen at 25, 50, 30, 60 frames per second. For example, if you record video game content where there's a lot of movement, it's advisable to record at 60 frames per second. If you're only going to record the screen of your desktop, programs, web browser, you can use 25 or 30 frames per second. I'm going to select 25 frames per second. We have finished configuring OBS Studio to correctly record our computer screen. To save all the changes, we click Apply and then OK. This is the screen that indicates what's going to be recorded. Right now, the screen appears completely black. If we click on Start Recording, a message will appear indicating that we have not added any video source. That is, we have not selected what we want to record. To add a recording source, we must go to Sources and click on the plus symbol icon. All these options will appear. We can choose to only record the audio from the computer or that it only captures the game and does not record the desktop or other programs. In the case of wanting to record the entire computer screen, no matter what we're doing or what program we use, we have to select the Display Capture option. With this option, it will record everything that appears on your screen, so be good. As we can see, we've added the source of Display Capture, and the screen of our computer appears. It's very simple. What appears in this viewer with the borders in red is what the program will record. For example, if I reduce the size of the OBS program, we can see that in the viewer with the red borders, the entire Windows desktop and the OBS Studio program appear. Starting to record the screen is very easy. You just have to click on Start Recording. While recording, the program icon will appear with a red circle on the taskbar, indicating that it's currently recording. Finally, once you've recorded everything you have to record, to end the recording, you must click on Stop Recording so that the video file is saved correctly. Great, we would have our video now. Now, if we go to the folder that we have previously chosen to store the videos, in my case, the folder OBS Recording, we can see that we do indeed have the video file with the screen recording. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Here, I leave you a free video editing course. I'm sure that you'll learn a lot of new and useful things. And nothing else for today. See you in the next video.